yeah. moved in here, started, and then ultimately, what happens with public art pops up? Who puts it in my lap? None other than Kenneth Victor Young, formerly of the old Louisville Art Workshop that moved to D.C. years mm -hmm. earlier and was hooked up with the Hampton University or Hampton Institute at that time, mm -hmm. museum director. She said, Ken, we need somebody to do a, a Booker T. Washington Memorial. We've looked at three things from other people, but we're not, we're not too satisfied right now. Can you recommend somebody? He said, yeah, sure. Call it Hampton down in Louisville, Kentucky. So I get this letter from Dr. Harvey saying, you know, we'd, we'd like to consider you to create a, a large heroic Booker T. Washington for the campus, blah, 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 blah. Here's the dilemma. I got nothing here other than abstract stuff and Mother Mary's and Jesus's and tabernacles to that, show. that I can show them that I can do this job. I know how to do it because I, mm -hmm. I worked with Barney on public art, right? But I hadn't done anything prior to my, for myself at this point, see? So, Ed, put your thinking cap on because this is going to be an opportunity here, you know. How are you going to do this? What I came up with, I said, the only way I'm going to convince these people that I can do this was, A, to create a small version of a figure of Booker, and then I created a bust. Just a, I didn't even go didn't this do the far body. Mm -hmm. I just did the, the head from the neck down and submitted that. And, and somebody on that committee said, yeah, I think he can do it. That was all I submitted that got me that job. And Booker T now stands at Hampton University Full size, life size, how, how tall is Nine that? Nine feet tall, baby. Nine feet tall. On a six foot pedestal.